Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Rays of Hope from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And friend, there's just not a better place to find that ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Get that good cup of fresh hot coffee. Let's sit together and have a wonderful encounter with God and his precious word on this beautiful day. Well, my goodness, praise God. Friend, there's just not a better way to start a brand new day than a good fresh cup of hot coffee and getting into the truth of God's holy and precious word. Let me invite you today to pick up your copy of God's word and turn with me to the little book of Amos. Today we'll be in Amos chapter number four, and I want to read in your hearing verses uh, six through verse number 12. Now listen to what the Bible says here. And I also have given you cleanliness of teeth in your cities and want a bread in at your places, and yet ye have not returned unto me, saith the Lord. And also I have withholden the rain from you when there was yet three months to the harvest, and I caused it to rain upon one city, and caused it not to rain upon another city. One piece was rained upon, and the piece whereupon it rained not withered. So two or three cities wandered unto one city to drink water, but they were not satisfied. Ye have not returned unto me, saith the Lord. I have smitten you with blastings and mildew when your gardens and your vineyards and your fig trees and your olive trees increased. The palmer worm devoured them. Yet have you not returned unto me, saith the Lord. I have sent among you the pestilence after the manner of Egypt. Your young men have I slain with the sword and have taken away your horses. And I have made the stink of your camps to come up unto your nostrils, yet ye have not returned unto me, saith the Lord. I have overthrown some of you as God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, and ye were as a firebrand plucked out of the burning, yet ye have not returned unto me, saith the Lord. And verse 12 says, Therefore thus will I do unto thee, O Israel, and because I will do this unto thee, prepare to meet thy God, O Israel. And I pray that God would add his blessings to the reading of his precious word on this beautiful day. Well, friend, I want to begin a series of devotional thoughts that I've titled Ignoring God's Warning Signs ignoring God's warning signs. You know, as I begin to think about this particular few verses of Scripture, from its very beginning, Israel had its ups and its downs with God. Sometimes Israel found themselves obedient, and therefore God blessed his people beyond measure. But sometimes Israel was disobedient and self-reliant. And God would send prophets and preachers with messages of warning. And then if they didn't heed the prophet's message, God would send stronger warning signs. And if those were ignored, then God would send disaster. My friend Israel was proud of its military strength and the many battle victories that God had given them. Therefore, Israel came to the place that they felt that they were in God's favor. Sadly, there were but two classes of people. They were very rich and the very poor, and it seemed that they were forgetting God's law and God's way. Now, in this particular text, Amos is speaking of God's warnings, and the people of Israel just completely ignored them. My friend, listen. America, this great nation that we live in, America is following Israel's pattern. 
and has not recognized God's warning. And friends, in, unless we repent and turn to Almighty God, we're headed for calamity. Just as Israel found themselves in the midst of calamity, friend, this great nation that is ours, if we're not careful, will find itself in the calamity. Now, I'm going to stop there today. Uh, I introduced the series to you this morning, uh, Ignoring God's Warning Signs. And we'll pick this up again tomorrow, and we'll talk about God's warnings went unrecognized. Now, friend, we need to be careful. God is trying to awaken this great nation. Friend, God loves America. And America is God's chosen people to the Gentile race. But yet and still, it seems that we've forgotten God. Uh, we need to pray that God will awaken our spirits and that we can be all that God would have for us to be, not for our glory, but for his glory. Friends, it's time to stop ignoring God's warning signs. Think about this and plan to tune in for the next few days. It's going to be very interesting. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for this beautiful scripture that reminds us that you are a God of mercy. And Lord, though you offer mercy and amazing grace, if people yet continue to run wild in sinful desire and uh, just not ever look to you, then God, calamity will come. Oh God, I pray for America. Awaken this great nation, Lord, that we can be what we ought to be for your glory. Just as you, Lord, tried to awaken Israel, you're trying to awaken us today. Oh God, help us open our eyes that we may see. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friend, I pray the devotion has been a blessing to you this morning, and uh, this is going to be an exciting uh, series of devotional topics, and so I pray that you'll continue to tune in and just see what God is trying to say to us, ignoring God's warning sign. May the Lord bless you. Pray you'll have a wonderful day in Christ, and remember, your life's the only Bible some will ever read, so let others see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. Again, have a great day.